As you all know, Chandan 3 is launched guys and it's a very powerful moment for India guys. Anyway guys, we will start now. There are three main objectives of Chandran 3 guys. First, safe and soft landing on the moon surface. Second, conduct land rover operation on the moon surface. Third, conduct on-site experiment guys. Chandran 3 will take 40 days to land on the moon surface guys. But in the opposite side, Apollo 11 only took 4 days to land on the moon surface. I will tell you the reasons guys. Chandran 3 followed gradual trajectory and Apollo 11 followed translunar injection guys. This is the part of gradual trajectory guys. We come across many terms such as LVM3, Propulsion Module Lander and Rover. LVM3 is a rocket that will take Chandran 3 up and drop it at a certain point above the Earth. With that, LVM 3's job would end. The spacecraft consists of two parts, the population and the land rover modules. The population module's main job is to take the land rover payloads to the moon. You can think of population modules as a truck and as the land rover payloads as the cargo. After reaching the vicinity of the moon, the land rover payload will detach itself from the population module and falling out onto the moon. The, la the lander has engines that will slow down the fall so that it descends gently onto the moon rather than crash landing on it. The rover is a tiny trolley kind of device with wheels. Once the lander lands on the moon, the rover will slide out of the lander's belly and crawl over the moon's surface. Rover will pick up soil and do the experiment. Lander also will do the same experiment. Basically, this instrument check out the moon and know more about it. The lander and rover will be alive for 14 Earth days, which is equal to one moon day. Estimated budget of Rs. 615 crore, Chandra 3 is said to be one of the most cost effective space missions. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye.